In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can arch text in Inkscape to create this classic athletic t-shirt design. And if you just want to know how to arch text, then you could skip to that part of the lesson using the chapters in the play bar below. If you do want to recreate this design, just make sure to download and install this font that I'll have linked in the description of the video. So I'll come over here into a new document and get started. The first thing we want to do is add some text. So I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to click on the canvas and I'm going to type Inkscape. And then I'm going to click again to create another text item and I'm going to write the EST date, which is 2003. And then I'll come down here and make one more text item that has the tagline, which is draw freely. And once you do that, let's go back to the select tool. Let's select all three text items and change their font. So I'll come up here to text and I will select text and font. And from this menu, we're looking for the varsity team font as it's called. So let me locate that, highlight it and then click apply. And now I'm just going to resize my text items accordingly. So I'm going to make this one a little bigger. I'll keep this one a little smaller and I'll make this one the biggest ad the biggest of them all. Now make sure to hold your control key while you're scaling to ensure that you uh, preserve the aspect ratio. And now I'm going to create a rounded rectangle to place behind this text here. So let me grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to click and drag over the object to create the rectangle. And I'm going to use this little round handle up here in the top right corner to round the corners of this rectangle, rectangle ever so slightly. And then I will grab my selection tool and place this beneath the text. So I'll click on this button over here that says lower selection one step. Now I'm just going to size this up according to the text there. And now I'm going to select both and I'm going to align them. So let me open up the align and distribute menu by going to object and selecting align and distribute. And I'm going to choose relative to and I'm going to align it vertically and horizontally. And with the items still selected, let's go to path and select difference. And what that's going to do is subtract the text from the rectangle and now this rectangle has empty space in it in the shape of those letters so that any backdrop that you place it on top of will show through where those letters are. So let me zoom out. I'm going to make all of this the same color. I'm going to select everything here and choose a color that I'd like to work with. If you want to choose a different color other than what you see down here, you can open up your fill and stroke menu. Just double click this color stripe over here and it'll open up the fill and stroke menu. And I'm going to choose my color. There we go. And now I just want to make sure that everything here is aligned. So I'm going to come over here to the align and distribute menu and I'm going to align it vertically. And let me make these items a little closer together. I'm just going to move them up like that. Now, again, to select multiple objects, I click, I click on them while holding shift. And while I'm moving them, I'm holding the control key to ensure that they are locked to the vertical axis there and they do not lose their alignment. And once you've done that, let's apply an arch to this text right here. So I'm going to click on the text to select it and I'm going to convert it to a path by going to path and selecting object to path. And now I will open up the path effects menu. So let's come back up here to path and let's choose path effects. From the path effects menu, I'm going to choose the envelope deformation option, which is right here. And in the settings menu, I want to disable this setting right here that says enable left and right paths. We only want to enable the top and bottom for what we're doing here. So let me deselect that and then click on this button right here that says top bend path. And once you do that, you'll get this little green line at the top of the object here. And if you hover your cursor over it, you can click and drag to bend the text up like that. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll choose the bottom bend path and we'll bend that text up like that. And just like that, we have arced our text. So let me grab my selection tool. Let's move these items up a little bit. And I'm just going to center this up one more time just to make sure everything is still aligned. And now I'm going to make this much bigger because if you're going to print this on a shirt, you're going to want this design to be really big. So let me make this a lot bigger. Again, holding the control key while I scale to ensure that everything remains proportionate. And now I'm going to resize my document to match this selection right here. So with everything selected, I'm going to press Control, Shift, and R. Or if you're using Mac, it would be Command, Shift, and R. And there we go. Now we're finished. You could take this design, export it, and upload it to a site like Teespring or Spreadshirt or wherever else and have your shirt printed. So I think that should do it for today's tutorial. That is how you can arch text to create a simple athletic t-shirt design using Inkscape.
If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.